Afternoon, everybody. Just setting up the stream. Um, I am putting the, well, I hope to be the capture on. How are we all doing? Okay. So today, what I'm planning on doing is a few things. First off, material hunting. Uh, and I know you must be, oh, no, not material hunting. Oh, no, not again. But no, I mean, I need to go and hit one of the big hot spots uh, to do this, Dab's Hope. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and then I'm going to do some more bounty hunting. And then who knows uh, what's going on. That's typically what I'm going to be doing. So, yes, that's the plan. Uh, didn't stream yesterday. Wasn't feeling too well, to be perfectly honest. Um, not feeling too good now. Usual thing, sore throat. Pesky kids have probably brought it back from school. Because I haven't been anywhere. But that's a different story. Uh, I've got some something to drink. I've got the heater on. We should be all golden. And that also turns around and brings me on to a really good thing that happened this week. Which was the addition of more gameplay. We said gameplay from Frontier in regards to Odyssey. Odyssey, I think, you know, um, I mean, I am a lifetime pass subscriber anyway, right? So I get it for free, which is cool. Um, which is probably why their website, Frontier's website, wouldn't let me buy it, which is great because save me loads of money and I get the alpha for free, uh, which is good. Not meaning to gloat, but and I'm not gloating, but I did spend about a hundred pound on this about four years ago and happens to be perhaps the most best hundred pound I've ever spent in regards to gaming because it's taken me through all the chapters. I haven't had to go around and, and buy anything. Um, it's strictly been a case of, well, hi Jules, it's strictly been a case of, well, you know, here it is again and it's a game that does keep on giving. No matter how much we think about it, it does keep on giving. So that's what we're going to do. So let's just set up uh, a decent picture for the for that save that and we've got to catch the carrier which I've already programmed in to Dav's Hope so that's where we're going Jumperoonies so I'm still in the old Corvette uh, I want to get back to the carrier uh, just before I jump, obviously, but to save time and for the purpose of this stream. I did set the jump ahead of, team, ahead of time. Here we go. So welcome everyone who has joined the stream. Hello, everybody. Um... Great that you can join me today. It really is. Oh, look at this. The room is right. Yes, I've got rare materials in my cargo hold. Check it out. I stocked up on Azure Milk. Of course, it's, I mean, a George Lucas, right? And Lystian Evil Juice. So, yeah, and I got some other stuff as well. Resonating separators and all that rubbish. So we're going to jump into this system where I've got the carrier parked, the Ricardo's extravagance. And then from that, off to Dav's Hope, we'll get into a, um, a funkier, different ship. Right, here we go. It's what we want. Where is it? Let's get past the, the planet. Still got our flipper down, mind. We're, we're going at speed. I want to clear that. And get back to the carrier. Quick, sharp. Now, I did cash in a lot of bounties and things like that, which was... Oh, God. Overflown it again. In my panic. So... I must apologize for that. I 
Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can go a little bit quicker. So yes, typically, hello Sean, how are you doing? Happy Sunday, everybody. So I haven't been anywhere, right? And somehow I have now developed a headache and a sore throat. So I'm gonna blame my children um, for that. Felt a bit funky, took some meds feel okay. And that's why I wasn't streaming yesterday. So I do apologise for that, because I do want to do a stream, because the past couple of weekends I've been streaming have been quite good, uh, and I've enjoyed them, and, and they've been great. Right. Give me a pad. I'm working to approach, Commander. Pad six. There we are. Got the gear down. Oh, we're coming in a little bit hot, aren't we? Might work out all right. It might not. Oh, we've gone over a bit. Hey, that's not bad, actually. Seems I don't know what I'm doing today. I'm feeling a bit muggy. We and we're in. Let's refuel. Rearm. Boom. Um, carrier services. Now, the ship that I particularly want for this, I've realised I've left at George Lucas. Uh, so I'm going to transfer a ship. And it is my... Where is it? Federal drop ship. So transfer that over. I'll take a few minutes. And in that dropship, I have things like what have I got? I typically haven't got what I wanted. Back. Exit. So let's go into outfitting. That will get us into the carrier. It's not lager. It's pop. Honest governors. Let's see what we've got knocking about. Right. Stored modules. Um, what else do I want? Right, here we go. This is the stuff I got to transfer over. Um, collect Olympus, don't want that. Frame drift drive, don't want that. Multi cannon, don't want that. Not yet, anyway. Um, planetary vehicle hangar. Transfer to this location. Transfer it. Pretty quick. It's only a couple of um, thousand credits, and I'm alright with that. Right, brilliant. So now I've done that. Let's transfer my my inventory over. So I've got some Lystian evil juice and all the rest of it. So we're going to transfer all of that. Transfer all to carrier. So we got quite a nice little selection there. It's going to go and get some rares and what have you. Um, let's confirm that. And then sit back and wait for the jump. We've got, I think, three minutes three minutes to go, which is good stuff, which is going to give me a little bit of time now to sort out all the stuff for the stream that I haven't done because I started it a little bit too early. So I'm just going to go in there while we're talking on the screen and set a icon and all the rest of it. So what do we all think then about... The Frontier announcement in regards to Odyssey. What do we all think about it? Because personally, I think I think it's it was a good trailer. I don't think it showed that much. I mean, everyone's focusing, I think, on the um, the first person 
combat side of things, which, you know, is typically what it's all about. Isn't it? So, so that's good. But, um, yeah, you know, I think it's all right. Looks rather fast paced, and that's what you want from a first person shooter, which I think is good. Um, it looks colourful. Don't know yet, though, do we? We don't know what the graphics specs are for this. And I'm just checking Steam now to see if they've put anything on it regarding the specs. O D Y S S E Y Odyssey. So I'm on their page now and I'm scrolling down. Blah, 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 blah. System specs. So Windows 7, 8, and 10. Well, who's running Windows 7 now and needs shooting? Quad core CPU. This is just, which is basically just the Elite Dangerous specs. I wonder if they're going to update that. They should. You know, but but they haven't. So that's interesting, I've got to say. Yeah, you're right. It was perfect for the Game Award, Game Awards, wasn't it? It really was. Um, you know, I thought it showed off what the game was like. I think it put it really nicely in regards to where Star Citizen is as well. Um, and a lot of it isn't lost on me in regards to... You know, the suits look very Star Citizen-esque, very Elon musk X. It's a future of a space suit, very lightweight, bigger hugging and all the rest of it. Um... You know, I thought that was good. I thought the combat looked really good. Um, the sense of scale that we all had when we saw the people walk past the um, the ships. So you can see how big a cobra was and all the rest of it. And of course, we had a little bit of a taste of this about two years ago when you think, well, there was that fan-made demo. And it's it's on my it's on my channel to dig it out somewhere. Um, where you had a fan-made demo of you walking around and all the ships were just packed, perked on a, a desert landscape. That was good. I am just basically typing in some stream details. Just like that. Save it up. Make sure I've got the game tagged properly. I thought I would have, but sometimes YouTube doesn't do that. So, and that sound tells me we've nearly arrived at our destination, which is good. And you're right, you know, what's not to like? It is good. And there's going to be people out there who say, oh, I don't like it. Oh, I think it. Oh, I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to do that. And that's fine. And that's your own personal choice, right? It's your own personal choice if you don't want to do it. Me, I can't wait to get my hands on that alpha. I really can't. Um, I think it's going to be great. Absolutely fantastic. And it's going to bring new players in. And new players means more popularity. More popularity means more investment, hopefully. More investment means a better game for everybody, I think. You know? Yeah, 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 slam dunk. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, some more some more non-FPS stuff. And I think it's great. Yeah, you know, the idea of, of being able to travel around... Um, You know, without using a ship, I think would be good. I'm just looking for a ship with something that I need. I've got all these ships knocking about, but I'll have to use the asp. Well, that's not a bad thing, is it? 
Nothing wrong with the old Asp Explorer. Nimble, fast, nippy. I like it. Okay, so. Where are we? What are we doing? Well, we're in the Asp Explorer now. Here it is. We all know what the old Asp Explorer looks like. This is my Asp Explorer. Right? The Inquisitive Badger. <laughs> Love this ship. Been absolutely everywhere in this ship. And it's gold. And we like gold. Um, so, let's make sure we're all fully armed and fully fueled up. What else have we got on the go? Um, let's see what else we got here. Is there a better ship I could possibly use? Probably not. This ship is wanted in another jurisdiction. Yes, but it's already here, so don't worry about it. Uh, got me Anaconda. I've got my Cutter, which I think was standing fine because I've been a very naughty boy shooting things uh, and there's a ship on route okay so um, let's just make sure we've got everything that we need yes we've got cargo space not we're going to need too much of that don't really need a fuel scoop but i'm not going to mess around with it we've got a planetary vehicle hanger great and we've got a scarab in there again brilliant um 50 light year jump range so it's not brilliant Right, but then again, it's not non-brilliant. It, it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. Um, so that's great. I'm happy with that. Bro. Right, so where is my remote workshop? Can I get some more engineering on the go? So I'm totally doing my surface scanner. I haven't got any mechanical scrap. This is what I need. I need mechanical scrap, right? Frame shift drive, totally done. Totally, well, I haven't, it's not totally done, actually. I could do some more um, data mind wake exceptions. Always good to have. And we beam lasers. So I usually go with overcharged weapon on this. And of course, no conductive components. So we can at least get, you know, a little bit of um, engineering done here. And then when we get down to the surface, it's going to be all about materials. So three beam lasers, then we've got the multi cannons. Right, that's all that messing about done. Uh, let's make sure we've got a totally empty cargo hold, 42 units of capacity, though we're not going to be needing that. All we're going to be doing is we're going to get ourselves down there and um, having a good go at the materials. Right. I've just realised I just unplugged my joystick. Okay, right then, that's fine, everything's working, I'm happy where my setup is, Brill. Exit. Launch. Let's check out the old system map. Quite a lot of commanders in system, all right? This is where we're going. Old Dab's Hope. Planet A5. That's where we're off. And let's go. Oh, it's nice and nimble. Much better than the old ship where you got to move the joystick and away you go. I 
Yeah, an Armstrong movement. That'll be a good effect, won't it, really? You know? Stepping down the ramp, first boot on a planet. Be great. I mean, I'm... I think I'm probably going to get do some Thargoid item collecting. And one of the first planets I step foot on is going to be a Thargoid base. Quite fancy that. We'll have to see. I think more than likely, though, it might be better off starting at a station and then jumping quickly to a Thargoid base. So, pirate activity detected. Our gym lad. Let's get our discovery scanner on the go, just so we can scan it up. Put our foot down. And we're off. Who have we got in system? Federal Navy, Cobras, all that sort of stuff. Right, let's get over there. Let's take um, fleet carriers out of this so we can actually see what's going on. Dav's hope, there it is everyone. So if you don't know where Dav's Hope is, um, it's in this sector. The Hades sector, a DRV, or DR-V, C2-23, and it's planet A5. Now, if you haven't been there, you're gonna have to do yourself some, what am I doing? You're gonna have to do some scanning, right? Um, to pick up the installation. But once we're down there, it's a pretty good way of picking up materials. Now we're coming in a little bit too fast, so we'll slow that down for a start. Switch to the outside. There we are. That's where we're going. Let's just slow it down a bit. And we're going to drop anytime soon. Look at this. Lovely planet. The gold of the asp does look nice as it's approaching. Yeah, and there's going to be loads of videos, I think, right? Um, oh, I've hit this planet. Oh, I've hit that planet. And it's going to be great. Okay, here we go. We're leveled up nicely. We just passed this mountain range. We're still gliding. Nice. I mean, think about all the Guardian sites, what they're going to look like, if that's going to be an option to, to walk around. But then just walking in, you know, Mandalorian style. I'm going to come on to the Mandalorian a little bit later. Uh, into some of these... You know, fantastic looking settlements and outposts. Okay. I think it's going to be really good. Um, I do just hope it's not going to be about walking around everywhere and then just getting shot left, right and centre. I hope there's like some no weapon usage unless there's a combat zone inside the um, the outpost because as soon as you get out and walk out of your ship that's it someone is going to be able to cap you I should have my hundred arcs for logging in I haven't checked but I have logged in on Frontier's lovely calendar which did make me laugh I mean hey you know it's something for nothing they're doing everything they possibly can to appease the community aren't they I think. And I think they've realised, you know, the community does need appeasing because they've got a big release coming. This release, you know, represents um, a paradigm shift, really, uh, into what's going on. You know, there's Dab's Hope down here. We're just going to swing it around. Put all our lights on. It's daytime, everybody. 
uh, which is good. Because I hate... Ugh. Hopefully someone will get the doorbell. What I'm going to do is, just in case someone hasn't got the doorbell, um, I'm going to put the anchors on here, right? Put us on outside mode. Away from the keyboard, just a second. It's okay, Mrs. Ricardo has got it. Or well, the soon to be Mrs. Ricardo. Right, where are we? How far how far away did I fly past it? Here we are. So Yes, I've crashed. Um here it is. Let's take a good look round. And you can see straight away, look. Ooh, materials that is. Materials there. Materials there. And as you go around, are you going to get things like chemical distilleries and all that sort of stuff, which I think is going to be great. All the stuff I need. Yeah, an on foot CQC option. Yeah, great. And you can imagine that being combat zones. They'll work it into the story some way. You know. Um, this will be great. And there you have it. There's the sign of Dav's Hope. So this is going to involve doing a little bit of what we call the Elite Dangerous Shuffle. To refresh everything. Right. Let's get the ship on the ground. Boat by there will do. It's suitable terrain. Oh, good God, come on. We're down, everyone. We're down. Scarab time. Yeah, well, I mean, I was never a plan of CQC in the ships, to be honest with you. It was just lackluster. I mean, change my mind. Well, getting to some of the doors at Dav's... I mean, it opens up a whole new area of the game... Where all these settlements they've put out. Um, and things like that. All these, you know, all these lovely, you could say story rich environments. Heat dispersion plate. Uh, all that sort of stuff. You know, there's stories behind this. Going to some of those Thargoid bases. We, re we recently saw one of those Thargoid bases, didn't we, right? Uh, and that Thargoid base, had, everyone had been nicked by Thargoids or taken off by Black Ops. That sort of thing. And, um... Getting in to walk around these places would be great. Ooh, hybrid capacitors. We need some of that. We need all of this, apart from the phase alloys. Shield emitter's got loads of those. It's all I was getting during the bounty hunting I did the other day. Do 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 do. Right, there's something around there, isn't there? Here we go. Up and over.
That's a log to scan. But, um, yeah, you know, I, I'm looking forward to it. I really am. I think it's going to be great. But the CQC side of things is obviously going to feature really heavily, and they've got to get that right. They've got to get it right. Otherwise, everyone's going to fixate on it, and it'll fail. It'll just be another expansion pack, which for people who haven't got the lifetime pass are going to fixate on and feel cheated and all that sort of stuff. Electrochemical arrays. I just drive past something then? I thought I did. Ah, phase alloys. Don't need any of that. Yeah, good old Dav's Hope. Um, just a quick way of getting some of the materials that I'm going to need. There's some data to scan as well. Um, it's going to be logs, things like that. And I've crashed by not looking where I was going. Let's scan the... Scan the thing. The data point. Where I get tagged encryption codes, unusual encrypted files. Good stuff. So, collected all I needed. Exit. I'm at 570 there, look. Um, on the arcs. So I'm not sure if that's actually came. I think I had 570 before I started. Oh, now I'm on 676, so I've locked. Do you see that? Do you see how funky that was? So now I'm on 676, just for logging in today. That's 100 arcs. Thank you very much. Um, that'll do for me. What would I buy with my arcs? Well, I don't know, really. Um, says him in a gold asp. Typically, and I say typically, I'm not one for all the, the paint jobs. Typically, the paint jobs come to me for, for being a player. Ooh, that sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? Player. But, um, no, I say it bought the lifetime pass, and then, you know, once we had a lifetime pass, we had a Black Friday all black um, build for all ships. That was good. Um, and that was, I think, I was thinking it was in year two when they, when they just launched Horizons. Um, and then after that, then, there's been various ones you've had for you know just being a general good community player that sort of thing uh, obviously you know um for making horizons free there was the azure pack that sort of nice luminescent blue thing what's this focus crystals oh we got tons of that we don't need focus crystals Mechanical components. Ooh, we'll have some of those. That's it. For pills you don't know this or you're new to the game, logging out, logging back in, refreshes the components. You can pick them up. Tidy. As we say in Wales. Tidy like it. Uh, and that's what we're doing. Conductive polymers. And we get different components. Yeah, well, I, I, I gotta say, I, buying them for free, I mean, it's just jet black. I mean, for a, being a content creator, if I dare to be so bold to call myself one of those, or as someone who streams his antics to YouTube, right? 
let's not get ahead of myself. I'm not, I'm certainly don't, I'm not pretending to be something that I'm not. Um, they're not very good because you can't see them on screen. You want something nice and bright and all the rest of it. But um, for the cool factor, the coolness, I've got to agree with you. I mean, they are something else. Just that when you do an outside shot to illustrate what you're doing, you typically can't. Um, you can't see anything, so it's not very really good. High density composites. Yeah, we'll have some of that. And the ones that I've left have been. Um, things that I already have. Now, granted, this is a very boring way of doing materials, but it is quick. Do this a couple of times, pick up some stuff, and then I'm going to be off to do something else, because even I'm going to get bored. Um, I think I'm in open now, aren't I? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if someone comes and shoots me. But yeah, you're right. The Black Friday skins were great. Um, right, what we got there? What's that? What's all that in? That is crystal shards. We would have some crystal shards. Um, I quite like the Azure paint pack, though, to be fair. And, you know, great for Frontier. Yeah, you're right. Shame we didn't do it for the for the fleet carrier. I mean, they are quite limited, those colours, aren't they? Has to be said. Um, I don't know why. I mean, it's just a colour palette, isn't it? Conductive components. Oh, we need those. We so need those. For all the engineering we've been doing. It's a good run this, getting all the stuff that I need. What's that? Heat dispersion plates. Oh, I need those. What's that? Phase alloys. Ah, we got that. Let's see, broke our run then. Heat exchangers. Ooh. So yeah, I want to get as many materials as I possibly can before Odyssey hits. And from what we've seen, I mean, even though Frontier have turned around and said, no, that wasn't it. April the 21st is not the date. Um, I've just driven past that, I've realized. It's not that. But then, you know, it came up on Steam for a reason. So that they were kind of bound to a date. So I get it why they, they wanted to sort of like get it, get rid of it. Like, you know, um, I do understand, but if we're looking at like April, it's quarter one for a lot of people. Um, that is early in 2021. Of course, we're going to get the alpha to play before that. That's going to reveal a lot of its secrets. You know, is it a case that, is it a case of the people who put it on Steam, put it out of the bag? April the 1st, oh, it's comedy. We're out with the comedy now. Could be, couldn't it? It's like, ah, just joking. Um, <clears throat> we're not really doing any of this, but <laughs> yeah, I know. That would be something. But the way they were talking, I mean, there's going to be some more fixes to the game, more balance fixes um because we've seen the combat we've seen you know the xeno combat around thargoids even though i haven't tested it out yet because the point of picking up all this material all these materials is um getting the materials to do more engineering right but um and they've, they've nerfed mining we well, haven't nerfed mine it's just not as lucrative as what it was is it 
I mean, let, let's just call it what it is. It's just not as lucrative as what it was, right? So I understand why they did it as well. I mean, to be fair, the game was just becoming all about mining. And we were saying about this on the stream earlier on, like, um, and in previous streams. You know, it should be called, it should have been called Elite Dangerous Mining. And it was a game that stood up in itself, you know, without any problems. Because you'd fly in, there was a bit of combat, there was a bit of prospecting, and then there was mining. And you took it back and got some money. That would have been, you know, years ago, that would have been the game. Um, but no, you know, we, we wanted more. It's all this blaze your own trail, blah, 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 you know. But with Odyssey, yes, folks, you will be able to blaze your own trail. And not necessarily in your own ship. That's going to be something I think is going to be good and how that works out. And I am looking forward to walking around stations. I am looking forward to doing a few other things like, um, you know, exploring the outposts, walking around. There's the, you know, the chatting with other players. So it's, it's going to be good. So it'll be interesting to see as well what they do around about ship piracy. Can you just walk onto someone else's ship and say, I'll be having that. Thank you, my good man. You just don't know, do you? Uh, and as a result of that, you know, the, the alphas are going to give us a taste of that. Now, I'm so zonked. I think I already scanned this. Yeah, I did. So, we'll do three more of these and then we'll go off and do something else. Do something else in the area. Do it a bit quicker this time. A bit more speed. Now, what's this? Heat dispersion plague. Let's pick him up. That's such a great peaceful thing as well. If you're not, you know, if you're new to the game, like, and we get on the, get some materials and get to use the SRV, then this area is the area for you. Because um, you're, you're seldom bothered. Focus crystals, got all of those. Hybrid capacitors. So, what's going to be good? But it does beg the question that all these things I'm picking up now, are they going to be a tradable commodity in Odyssey? You'd imagine they would be, from the material traders. And things like that but are they going to increase your inventory yeah exactly don't forget the old ship's key fob remember to hit it twice you're not wrong there you know so yeah it, the whole thing of ship piracy and you know could you set up defenses around your ship uh, to prevent piracy um, upgrade your, your ship with unhackable encryption so only you can fly it, which then begs the question, well, okay, if that's the case, then you'd have to add your crew member, if you had a crew member, to it. I just remembered I've already got a crew member on this. Um, so that, you know, when you go into your fighters, you can still fly your ship. Yeah? Know what I mean? So they've really got some thinking to do around it. But it is good, you know. So let's talk about other things. Um, where we go around this. And I think we'll do this. Just, that's the last time I'm going to do this for the time being. I'll do some stuff when I'm not streaming. Um, let's talk about The Mandalorian. And without any spoilers, another good episode. 
uh, this week on The Mandalorian. All the Empire are there as well. We all do like it when the Empire shows up. You get some good um, visuals around the, the, the Juggernaut and tank drivers. So slightly different versions of Stormtroopers again. You know, those who drive the, the tanks and the ordnance around. Bit of Boba Fett. Who doesn't like a bit of Boba Fett? We all love a bit of Boba Fett. So that was good. That was good. Discovery. Yeah. Do you know what? I couldn't actually tell you what happened on Star Trek Discovery. Bit of a... Oh, it was um, a Terran Empire thing. But it wasn't particularly what I call memorable. Uh, this so you know it, it, it was alright it was a good episode it stood up by itself but um, you know it did stand up but and here's the thing you know you want battles and lasers and all the rest of it that's what you want that's what I want So there you go, everybody. That's a little bit of Dav's hope for you. Um, we got those flawed focus crystals. What's over there? Oh, phase alloys. And for want of boring everybody of having two hours of me driving around Dav's hope, picking up materials, let's go. Back to the ship. And we're here. So, aboard that ship. And now we're in. What should we do next? What have we got in the system? Well, where we are, huh, not much. Uh, what have we got around us? in the Hades sector. Again, you know, not much. We've got Kun over there, not too far away. A couple of jumps in, in the ship that we've got. 118 light years, we could pop over there, see what's going on, but I've been over there recently. What else we got? Muang. That's going to be a 257 light years away. Good God. That'll be a couple of jumps, won't it? Um, I'll say it's Balante. I've got a ship there. I have. 108 light years. I think we'll just pop down there. Yeah, a couple of jumps. See what's going on. I mean, we're, we're too far away from Rubigo. 256 light years. Um, we've got Seos down there. That's 307. That's a carrier jump job, that is. And I think perhaps, you know, yeah, let's go and do a little bit of that. So, let's get out of Dodge. Let's spin up. And we are off, everybody. Leaving Dav's hope in dust. And we're away. Though I will come back a little bit later for a look. Right. Make sure we haven't got anything. Oh, we got a few things tagged there. Look. Let's get into frame shift. And zoom off.
And yes, folks, we are indeed away. Yeah, you're right. We'd have to be an open to interact with other players. Um, indeed. Hopefully there's going to be some good AI around the AI NPC players. Do you know what? I'm just tempted just to whiz down to Rabigo and see us. You know, it's only a couple of jumps. I think I got a fuel scoop. Seven jumps. That's all it is. That's nothing these days. Um, let's just check the ship. What have I got? Fuel scoop. Well, oh, we're off. We're off, everybody. We're off to see us and sow this. And to do some Rabigo Mines missions. We're jumping. Let's do that. This is why I don't sort of like putting an agenda down when I do a stream. It's it's kind of a bit about like, well, I'll just do what I feel like at the time. Um, and we will. We'll head on down there. I've got a python all kitted up for passenger missions down there. Uh, I believe. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do. And seven jumps these days is nothing. get some discovery data while we're at it. No one's gonna bother us because, or no one should bother us because I'm not carrying anything. Bit of scanning data. As it happens, where are we? 56%. I've got Explorer Elite, everybody. Look at this. When did that happen? Here we go. There's my bonus reward. Right. From Frontier Development. That's today. That's the weekly upkeep on that. But there it is. You can all watch this with me. I haven't opened it. Look, it's unopened. Here we go. Pilots Federation to Elite. There you have it. I am now an elite explorer after all this time. Now that is something. I'm happy with that now. It's only taken six years to get there. I mean, I got trade elite pretty easy. But now, got me explorer rank. Ooh, and with all the combat buffs they're doing now, shouldn't be too hard to get to. At least deadly. Yes, thanks, Jules. Um... And the reason why it's taken so long is I'll come in, I'll honk the old horn, like I'm doing now, right? And that'll be it. Done. And I'll zoom off. I got no interest in doing cartography of other planets. Uh, and most of it's already been done anyway. So it's taken me a little while. But that, I'm happy with that. It's made my Sunday. So much so, I'll have to play that again. But it has taken me years to get there. You know, when you think I was playing well before, you know, the the system scanner and all that sort of stuff. But it is good stuff. Uh, modules, everything's okay. Everything's working. And now, jump away. And let's face it, it's an easy way of making money when you're travelling around the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. Honk that horn, away you go. Whenever you get where you're getting there, cash your money in. At least it pays for the fuel. I certainly wasn't going to jump the carrier down here. Yeah?
And here we are again. Where are we now? We are an explored, an explored system. But they've all been explored round here, to be perfectly honest. You know, you've got to go pretty much out of the way. Alright, what's this? A couple of planets. Rocky rings. I am going to have to do some fuel scooping very shortly. I was looking for raw mats. I was. Did a bit of Dav's Hope. Now I'm going over to um, Rubigo, Sios, and so this. Do some passenger missions. And see what rewards I can get for that as well. It's not all about the many. But the many helps. And that's what I'm doing, Ace. That's what I'm doing. Right, I scoop some fuel. I do like this ship. There we are. See, we are scooping that fuel. Right, how are we doing? Right, we're off now. We've got enough. Where are we going? Ugh. Where's my waypoint? I've lost my waypoint for some reason. Here it is. <clears throat> Let's go. Yeah, there were some raw materials I couldn't typically get when I was doing combat missions where I was. So, time to move. Not to say I won't do some more combat though. One, two, three, four, six. Good old hip, one, two, three, four, six. I knew it well. Do some more scooping. Two jumps to go. to get a bit closer a bit closer again keeping on that temperature it does paint a nice color palette as well doesn't it really right when you look at this look at that the silhouette of the asp against that sun Let's blow your eyeballs out sometimes. Have you ever been to the Shards in HIP 36601? Um, I don't know. Let me see. Let me go to my map. So let's have a look. <clears throat> HIP. Oh, for God's sake. What? What? One. Right, galaxy map up here. Hip three six six oh one. Have I been here? I'm going to say no. Thousand light years away. I have not been. But I may go this week. Is it any good? So what's there then? 
Hmm? I'll have to take a bit of a nose out there. That's enough to get me where I'm going. I need things like scrap, scrap metal. That's what I need. Come on, jump drive, let's go. I'll have to look that up. Thanks, Ace. I'll have to check that one out. May even do a video on it. One more jump to go. Now this is Sios. We're going to. And that's where I got my ship perked. It's a python. Seos, so this, and Rubigo. Pretty much the bomb for passenger missions. Always have been, or they will be. <laughs> Alright, I'll be over there then. I'll fuel up the old um, fleet carrier, and I'll bang on round there. Don't you worry. Good shout. Thanks for that. Two more days left in work and I'm off for the Christmas break. And hopefully Mrs. Ricardo will turn around and say, yeah, you can play some Elite Dangerous. Right. So where did I park that ship of mine? I parked it there. At Brunel Hub. Look at all the fleet carriers here, yeah, look. You can, pff, madness, I tell you. Let's get ourselves to the Brunel hub. We got loads of fuel. It's not too far away, be a two minutes. There it is. Slow down a little bit more. Give us a bit of time. And here we are. We're rocking in towards Brunel Hub. in the CIOS system. After all the engineering I've been doing, I do need materials. So let's see what passenger missions they can give me. And like I say, I've got um, a Python sat here with economy class passenger cabins. We're about to drop out, here we are. Brunel Hub, totally in the arse end of nowhere. Let me in. Landing pad 1-1, one, one, everybody.
There it is, right at the front. I hate these ones right at the front. Here we go. We're on the money there. Oh, for God's sake. And we're down. Starport services. Bullet Raja. Hello yourselves. How are you doing? Hello everybody who has just joined the stream. So. Here we go. Oh, I've got a ship knocking about here in the shipyard. And here's the Badger's Respite. Right? Got some weapons on there, shield boosters, blah, 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 blah. All me economy class cabins. Right? So, what we're going to do, shipyard, stored ships. What am I doing? Don't want that. But it's good you can actually buy that here. Right? Um, stored ships, Mr. Python, storage options, use this ship. Here we go. It's thinking about it. He hasn't used this Python for ages. What's up? What's he doing? What's going on? Right. Services. It is. Um, let's look at the passenger missions. So, Cirrus Atmospherics is the place to be. Right? And what we do, we go over there, scan the beacon, job done. Alright? Um, so, don't be scanned. Low value target, time sensitive, blah, 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 criminal. If scanned by authority vessels, she'll be attacked. But, what am I going to get? Nano breakers. <laughs> Don't want those. Focus crystals. I got loads of focus crystals, I think. Yeah, have a good look around here. Refined. Ex what was it? Exquisite focus crystals. And what have they got? Refined focus crystals. Well, I don't know about that. Let's have a look. Refined foot. Ah, we've got loads of those. Land enrichments. This is just like, what? What's all this about? As you can see, I am totally allied with them as well. Bullet Raja from India, welcome. How are things over there? I do work with a couple of people in India, you know, so they keep me up to date with what's going on. Uh, hope, you're not, hope you're safe and well. Got all the reputation we need, got all this. This is all big money, just for going and modular terminals, cracked firmware. Oh, we'll have some of that. Pick a cabin. That one. We're not going to that one. Look at that. That's blinky ridiculous. Um, modular terminals. Meh. Microcontrollers. Meh. Um, all these things here. Mechanical scrap. That's what I want. Yeah, you mate, you're right. COVID does indeed blow goats. It really does. It does suck. Um, I just want some sort of decent materials. What have we got on here? Uh, cracked industrial firmware. Go on, we'll have this as well. Pick a cabin. We may just have to go down the let's have money route. I think. Just go down the money route. We got up here. 
Let's have all them pick a cabin. Uh, we got here. Whatever. Yeah, I can do things differently, but I'm getting bored of this now, to be honest. Passenger missions are by far, I think, some of the most boring things um, we could possibly ever do. Uh, they really are. And here we are doing passenger missions. Right, so we can pop her in there as well. Cirrus Atmospherics. Well, that's all wonderful, isn't it? Universal Carta Graphics, we got a little bit of data to sell. 186,786. Oh, we'll sell it. Not that we need to sell it for any rank, everybody, because I am now double elite. And it's taken me six years to get here, so we're... Thanks very much, Bullet Raja. Thank you very much. I appreciate you thinking I'm a hard-working man. And I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Thanks for your subscription, mate. That is good. Right then, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go and do our mission. We are going to go and do our mission. Um, right. Let's get on with it. Where are we going? Seeking adventure. Oh, I. Seeking adventure, everybody. We're off to sow this. I'm back. Let's get out of here. Sell that page. Confirm. All right. Is it done? I s confirm. Confirm. Oh, it's not selling. Look at this. Oh, now it's sold. Good grief. Let us go. Got illegal passengers. So we're going to be pretty funky about this. Hello, Matt's Mechanical. How are you doing? Right. See if we can get over there pretty quick. There it is. We're boosting away. We're going to turn some of our modules off. I don't even know why I've got them, to be perfectly honest with you. Why I don't know what I'm doing. Um, get rid of some of the heat. Not going to need the fuel scoop. Not going to need the fuel. The, we're not going to need the chaff launcher. Shouldn't really need the weapons either, but you know, kill warrants gonna get turned off. Let's jump. So here we are, hammering now towards So this A5 to go and see Cirrus Atmospherics. We got plenty of fuel.
You've got illegal passengers on board. Yeah, you're right. Um, so this mining. We're going to do that on the way back. You're going to get over there and do it a different way around. This was the Cios to sow this one to Cirrus Atmospherics. Lots of pirate activity. That's what we want. Sirius Atmospherics. Drop in, scan the beacon, Foxtrot Oscar, and then we're away. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come back, and you're right, I'm going to go to... Sow this mining and do the stuff that way. Just for completeness. And that is going to be big money. And because we're in a Python, it means we can drop in. Do what we got to do. And land on a small pad. So we're on approach. We're obviously not going as fast as we could. That's because we're caught in the wake of something. Here we go. So we all ready for Christmas then, everybody? Are we all um, getting in the festive mood? There's absolutely nothing on the UK on television. I think I've exhausted Netflix. I've exhausted Amazon Prime. Only really watch The Mandalorian on Disney. I'm sure there's more things on Disney I could be watching. It's whether the future Mrs. Owen um, wants to. Future Mrs. Ricardo wants to. Um, or not. So, you know, I've got I've to, you know, go by what she wants to watch as well, really. Um, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right, we're dropping out. Sticking the anchors on. Contact. Scan the beacon. Done. Back now. To see us. Then we'll pick up a couple of mil. If we can get back without being scanned. Jump systems. And then we have to go in, super stealthy like, through the station aperture, hopefully not getting scanned by anybody. But that's okay, we can do that. Hopefully. If not, it won't be worth very much to us, will it? We'll be, we're carrying illegal passengers, we're going to get nicked. Right. Brunel Lab. There it is. We're hammering towards that. This is just a little ship I've got stored down in this area. On the off chance, I wanted to get down here and make some money. So if anything ever goes wrong, I've got a ship here all kitted out to do this sort of run to make a couple of million. 
And this is one of the things I put in. I did a little video, a little guide uh, a couple of weeks ago. Some of my top tips, right, to um, when playing Elite Dangerous. And it's, you know, it's nothing pretentious, but one of the first tips I say is never sell your ships. Always get enough money where you can buy the other ship outright without selling a ship. And just store it in a station somewhere. You can always go back to it. It acts like a sort of in-game currency and also additional module storage. Just think about that. Because the module storage we've got, right, isn't particularly fantastic, even if you've got um, a carrier, right? Uh, you're still limited to like a, is it 120 units of module storage. So, but you're not limited to how many ships you can have. You can have 40 per station, something like that. But that's an awful lot of modules, an awful lot of engineering. And you go through all this hard work, you know, to engineer your ships and get them how you like. And then you think, right, time for an upgrade. I want to go, say, from a Cobra to a Python or what have you, an Asp Explorer to a Python or something like that. And, you know, you want to keep that ship. It's also promoting, I think, some attachment to people. So what we're going to do now, modules, we are going to turn off the shield generator, multi cannons, frame shift drive, request docking. Right, silent running. They shouldn't scan me. There is some ships all around, mind. I'm going to slow down a bit. They've lost me on their scanners. We're looking for 23. There it is. Get the gear down. And we're through, everyone. We're through. We're in. We're going to land nice and gentle like. Realise I hadn't turned my silent running off. There we are. Nice and gentle. And we're down. Starport services. Passenger lounge. Complete that mission. What shall I have? Well, do you know what? <clears throat> that. That's what I'm going to have. Money, baby. Ma only materials I'm interested in. We've already got focus crystals. Super LZ. Have a good one. Have a good Sunday. Have a good Sunday. Um, again, we're all down on all of that. It's the money. And we're making a lot of money here for doing virtually a little bit of peril, right? Just a little bit of peril. Um, but we made quite a few million for doing effectively nothing. Now, industrial firmware, I'll have that. Because that's all about, all about what I'm about getting materials and, and data at the moment. Again, you know, I'll take the 700,000 credit loss just for that cracked industrial firmware. Now, all that is fantastic. Inventory. I have no cargo capacity. Mission board. A lot of money can be made here as well by delivering units and stuff. So where's that going? Don's inheritance. No, we're not going there. What about this? Belinsky Enterprise. Not going there either. What about this one? Belinsky Enterprise. No. What about this one? Vantage Point. Nothing. Um, and we're totally allied. What's this? 
So this mining, that's where we're going. Because, and we are gonna see, we're gonna show people how quick it is from so this mining to do it the other way around, right? So we're gonna accept that. So it's a little bit of many on the other side. Um, am I gonna provide many to stop the famine? No. No, I'm not. Carry your job there. No, that's Valinsky. Valinsky Enterprises. Nothing else there to have. And that's it. So we've got one mission. Right? One mission is all we've got. Crew lounge. Um, she's not active because nothing for her to do, really. Uh, we'll keep her on, though. Because why not? I'm a nice sort of guy. Make sure all our modules are switched on. Because we, we did turn a few off. Right. Um, incidentally, probably worthwhile checking to see if anybody... All right. Can we take anything over there? No. What about passengers? Any passengers want to go over there? No. It's all serious atmospherics. We've just done that. Quite a few here, look. So you can make a good couple of million on one run. But not to worry, we're off. I don't mean to see the wizard, we're off. So welcome everyone who have joined the stream. Just doing some um, passenger missions around So This and Seos. Uh, and we could do it around Rabigo Mines as well. It's another good earn. We're off to So This Mining. Woohoo! Probably just some types, to be honest. Um, might get lucky on some materials. But I need materials across the board, really. What I need is scrap metal. That's what I need. Yeah, and there's the python in all its glory. Got a ship kit on there. See, I sprang some arcs for a python ship kit. How plush and swanky is that look, eh? And it's yellow like a banana. Right, let's go. So we're going to jump in. We're going to deliver our data. If anyone wants a bit, right? We've got weapons on. All set up. Beam lasers and multi-cannons. Not engineered. Nothing funky. Where are we? So this mining. 3,000... Light seconds away. And we're off. Turn the lights off. Because you don't need them. And away we go. It's not going to take us long to... Once we're there, the other reverse way of doing the missions is going to be easier.
Right, here we are. Of course, lots of things, you know, in system. Nothing I particularly fancy getting into a mix with. This is effectively, you know, a, a passenger ship anyway. Even though I've got some some armaments on it. Which again, see, it's better than using a dolphin or, you know, an orca. And you certainly wouldn't get a beluga over here. So I'll slow down a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, hurry up. So this mining. So mining outposts typically, as quite rightly mentioned, um, that by Nathan, that they don't scan you, right? When you go out there, do your mission, come back, they don't scan you. Um, not like all the rigmarole we just went through then uh, at Brunel Hub in Sios coming to sow this and serious serious atmospherics when we come back all the feds are there uh, and they want to basically scan the ships so you're gonna go through all the rigmarole of shutting down modules turning on silent running which engages heat and then you can forget to turn off silent running and then it's it's a right mess so this way this method And we're just zooming towards the planet now. The only problem with this method is, is sometimes, because it's an outpost and not a station, it's only got a few landing pads. You can get a denied docking request and you could be stood around just waiting. That is the only problem with this. So pad five is the pad. There it is, just going past on the left hand side of the screen. Landing gear down. That's going to limit our speed somewhat. Here we go. And we're down. We're down, everybody. Yeah, you're right. It can be a right pain in the eye. <laughs> right. Let's complete our mission. And for that, we will get um, influence, reputation. We don't need any of that because, you know, we got, we got lock, stock, the lot. And it's good that, you know, Elite gives you that option, right? Do you want the money? Do you want money in materials? Do you want money in cargo? I do like that. It's much better than what it was. So here we go. These are all normal missions. So let's go to Passenger Lounge. Right, look at this. That's not going to be going anywhere where we want to go. That's going to be too far away. Where's she going? For that many, God knows. Thousand light years away. Look at all this. This is crazy. So where's all the um, reverse missions then? They are not here. And they used to be. Well, do you know what? That's just blows goats, that does. That's absolute terrible. Um, all these systems are 4,000 light years away. 
and they want five grand for that. Well, I'm not that much of a person hauler. Right, so therefore, we're not going to do it. All right, so fair enough. Um, what we got here? Search and rescue, black market, authority contact, power contact. Already got my power contact. I've done all of that. There's my universal character graphics. Nothing can be sold. It's extraction market though. Um, I haven't got any cargo space. So let's go to another station. Don's Inheritance is the next closest one. Let's go see Don's. But there's also an Aquarius class tanker there. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go Don's Inheritance and see what we can do there. No worries, mate. I, they used to be there. They used to be. There used to be loads there. Nothing there. Let's see what old Don's inheritance. In fact, let's try Valinsky Enterprise. Might be there now. Besides, nothing else to do. Like I said, nothing on television. So, here we go, we're hammering towards that now. That'll take a while. Okay, where are we? Nowhere near. So let's just try this for Linsky Enterprise. See if there's any decent missions there. If not, we'll go and try Rabigo Mines. That's always good for something. Lining up nice. Couple of ships in system there. Look, you know, there's a, an adder. Do some scanning. Yeah, that's no worries. Well, they weren't there when I got there. <laughs> so that's all I can say. I, I don't know. And normally they are. So um, something's going on. Let's see what we can do here. So we're hammering towards 
Valinsky Enterprise in the hope of getting some more passenger missions. And slow down a bit. Don't want to screw up our the plausible deniability fleet carrier. <laughs> oh, I love them. Some of these names. Dropping out. Let's go over there, see what they can do for us. There's our pad. Very sort of Tatooine like planet behind us. Nice big craters look. Let's get the wheels down. All right, Nathan, catch you later. In we go, and we're gonna be down. What have we got here then? So, The Passenger Lounge. Absolutely nothing. Look at that. Absolutely nothing. What's he got? Nothing either. All these are going to be, you know, miles away. Let's go to the mission board. We can go back to Brunel Hub. Do some data delivery missions. We can stock up on those. That'd be a good way of getting up um, your rank, your federation rank. Planetary scan job there. Be something to do. Combat. Bit of data to drop off. And we can drop that off and then zip off somewhere else then. But there are some quite lucrative delivery contracts as well down there. So not to worry. Right, well, okay then. What can we do with our beam lasers? Let's just generate a modification on those. Because why not? We've got conductive components from our time now at um, Dav's Hope. But for this ship, I'm not wasting too many materials on that. Nickel. Nickel's ten a penny. Again, no data mind wake exceptions. Our multi cannons. We haven't got any mechanical scrap, unfortunately. So we've got our missions. Let's launch away, get back there, and we're off ski. And then we'll have a look at Rubigo Mines. Because that is only but a couple of jumps away. There it is, there's Sios. We're going to have to jump elsewhere, so we have to go in there now and unselect that. Jumpy, jumpy, jump, jump.
Right. Off to Cios, drop the data off, because money's money, and then we'll nip off to Rebigo Mind. I mean, there's still money to be made. Is it lucrative money? Is it enough money? Well, this is what remains to be seen. Obviously, if you run with no shields, you are running the gauntlet then, aren't you? Right? But you can get more passengers in. But then, you run the risk of losing your ship. Because you've done something daft. Brunel Hub is the place we're going to. So for those of you watching, thanks very much for watching. Um, I'm also transmitting this at the same time on Facebook, on Ricardo's Gaming is the page. Uh, and also, I'm on Twitch. Um, if you could see your way clear as to liking or subscribing, whatever it is on Twitch, that would be great. I'm trying to break a milestone there, um, which is the next, I think, sort of affiliation milestone. I've already done an awful lot of work on Twitch, but you've got to stream for so many hours in 30 days, blah, blah, blah. And you've got to have so many people um, following me. I'm only a few off. So if you could see your way clear to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. It'd be nice. But if not, don't worry about it. I just, I'm just happy that you're here watching this with me. What ship am I flying? I am in. Good old trusty python. Look at that. That's where I am. That's what I'm flying. No cargo space, just full to the brim of passenger cabins. And that's what we're all about. And the passenger missions you can do effectively with any ship and make some money. Um, you know, and it's a good way of quickly making some money as you rise through the ranks. If you're new to game or you're just, you know, using a new commander from Epic Games. Uh, that sort of thing. Let's request some docking. Pad 23, swing it around, get ourselves in there, landing gear down. Here we go. They're going to tell us off we're going too fast. We don't care. Pad 23, there it is. Now Brunel Hub, high tech as you can see. Yeah, the Cobra is a great ship. You know, I've still got mine. And like I was saying, never sell your old ships. You know, and the, the Mark III Cobra in Elite for years was the quintessential ship and the only ship you could basically zoom around and fly. That's in the original game. Right, here we go, mission board. Sensitive data delivery. Yes, we'll have all of that. Reputation, 92. We want money for this because, you know, we're not getting anything else, are we? You know, HN shock mounts. Great. Got loads of those back at the carrier.
And I think that's it. So is anything going back to Rubigo? It's not, because Rubigo is not in its bubble. But that's where we're going. Navigation, galaxy map. Rubigo mines. Right there. Two light years away. We're going to jump the ship over. Just for completeness. Got fuel. We've got... Fuel scoop. Launch. How many jumps? Three jumps to get there. I like these. I like these adverts. Look. So over there was don't forget your limpets. <laughs> oh dear. It's the little things. The size of this coming through. Great phantom. Ah, no. Now look at this. What has happened here? Let's go. It's been a while since I've done that in a python. Looking at other ship I was. I'm sticking to it. Right, that's the first place we're going to. We have cleared the area. Jumping away. Now, years ago, there used to be a game exploit in Rubigo Mines. Now, Rubigo Mines, little outpost, so don't go bring in your anaconda. But you could quite happily park there and sell slave, buy slaves at Rubigo Mines for a big discount. Um, and then sell them back. Right? And an even bigger profit and you could make millions millions upon millions upon millions and a lot of people did and that's how a lot of people all of a sudden moved from having asp explorers to anacondas simply because rubigo mines was a broken station now today it's typically one where you can do passenger missions and frontier developments quite rightly so fix the exploits but a lot of people made an awful lot of money there and it was synonymous with with making you know in-game exploit right We got another jump to do. Just scooping some fuel while we can. Every little helps, as they say in Tesco's. Jumping away. Here we go. And here we're back, everybody. Rabigo Mines. So you've got the nav beacon, the tanker in system. There's Rabigo Mines. 585 light seconds away. When we get there, we'll see what missions we can get. 
but it was pretty good once upon a time it did take a little bit longer than the cirrus atmospherics from um Seos, though Okay, here we go. Just adjusting, then we're a little going a little bit too fast. But we've got to get round the side of that ringed planet. And approach. This is an outpost, so you know it makes no difference of approaching it, you know, from the planet. Because the mail slots on all stations. Coralus, Oculus, all those stations point at the planet, if you haven't noticed. Okay, here we go. So another game that I've been playing, Subnautica Below Zero. Um, probably going to do a stream on that as well sometime in the week. If anybody's interested, um, looking at that. And of course, next weekend, I'll do some more Elite Dangerous. Like I was saying at the beginning of the stream, haven't been feeling too well today. Um, hopefully not COVID related. More than likely just the flu, because I haven't been anywhere. But the kids have, you see. And they could be little carriers, but who knows? Right, so here it is, Rabigo Mines, everybody. We're on to pad five. Here it is. Anchors on. Let's put the landing gear down. Over a bit and land. Right. So, Mr. Rabigo Mines, what can you do for us? Brill. So, Universal Character Graphics. 13,000 pays for the fuel. Nothing in the contacts that we need worry about. I don't think. Got some bounties to, to, to redeem. Fair enough. Let's look at the passenger lounge. Now these are all Cirrus atmospheric missions, right? Now, four million a mission, great. But we have more jumps to do, see? That's the issue with it. So you can make, so let's have a look at this. Uh, this is 14 passengers. Pick a cabin. Done. All right, it's 4.5 million for this lot. Three million. So all of a sudden, that's about eight million, right? Nine million. Let's pick a cabin for this bunch. Accept that contract. Um, is one here, look. Five million on the nose. That's a nice paying one. Pick that cabin. See what, what else we've got going on. Anything nice and fruity down here? That's a thousand light years away. What about this fella? Nothing as lucrative of what we saw from the controlling faction. So that's three million. So now we've got like two sets of cabins left. Um, thermic alloys. See, now I'm looking at what are the missions going to give me? 
thermic alloys there as well. Now, do we need thermic alloys? Let's go over here. I think we do. What am I doing? Here we go. Um, bum, 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 bum. Thermic. Thermic alloys. Oh, we could do a few, a few of those, don't you think? So that's what we're going to get. We're going to go for the thermic alloys. Not the many thermic alloys. So we're going to get four thermic alloys there and a million. So we'll pick the cabin for them. One down there. Uh, what else have we got? We've got exquisite focus crystals. Nano breakers. No, nope, that's not a thing. Biotech conductors. That's an actual item, not a material. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, we'll have them. Biotech con con blah, 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 things. We get five there, three there. What else have we got? Is anyone else offering us more? We'll go for the biotech conductors. Pick a cabin. Um, it'll have to be this one at the top. And then we've got a cabin with only a few left. Thermic alloys, pick a cabin, pop him in there. Pop him in there, sorry. So what have we got? Illegal passengers, but on the way back, they ain't gonna scan us, right? Hello there to the Ukraine. Um, so what we're gonna do is transactions. What we got here? So, what was this? So, hundred and fifty grand, right? That's three point seven. Four point eight. 9.8 we say 13 and for 17.8 million for not doing anything right nothing to do all we got to do is fly ourselves over there, scan that, and fly back. That's it. Nice and easy. Yes, you've got to be a bit careful because of illegal passenger missions. Let's go. Money to be made, everybody. Rubigo Mines. Higher paying missions, right? But takes you longer to get there. Or not as lucrative paying missions from Brunel Hub, for example, in Cios. Uh, to go to Cirrus Atmospherics, scan the beacon, come back, do it a bit quicker. Swings and roundabouts, about the same. Unknown Elite, how are you doing? And we're scanning the data as we go and we're picking up. We're fuel scooping as well, just to make things a little bit easier. Because we've got to get there and then we've got to get back. Right, next jump. Where'd you go to get exquisite focus crystals? Well, down to Rubigo Mines. Um, and there was 
or see us and sew this and do passenger missions. That's one way of doing it. Or you can watch the beginning of the stream where I go with Dav's Hope. There was exquisite focus crystals there as well. Or effectively, you can do some combat if you've got a combat available ship. But typically it's going to be doing missions and pick your missions for that particular material. I myself need scrap metal of all things. So here we go. Next stop is Seos. We're going to blaze through there. No problems. If you haven't done so, hit like on Twitch. That would great and really help me out. Because um, I need 50 people to like my channel before I can get to the next level of achievement of whatever it is on Twitch. So if you lot haven't done that already, get yourself over to Twitch. So if you're already on Twitch, hit the old subscribe or like button or whatever it is. Follow. Follow on Twitch, isn't it? Hit the follow button, and that would help me out. So here we are in Seos. Done the scan. Lining up for so this. And we're jumping. Now, as you can see, I've done a little bit of fuel scooping. Not, nothing too drastic. But I'm going to get there and back on what I've got in regards to my... Here we go. That's where we're going. Cirrus Atmospherics. Zooming along. Now, people may try and pull us out of frameship, and that's fine. We got an illegal passenger, and it's going to happen from time to time. But then again, you can do all your manoeuvring, can't you? And this one run, if we can do it properly, is going to get us, what did we say, 17 million? So it's lucrative, and there's all the materials as well you can get. Lots of feds in system. Always worthwhile as well scanning um, the ships because there's any tasty data you can get off them. We're slowing down. There we go. A bit more speed. Not too much though, just to try and break that planet's pull. And the Cirrus Atmospherics, as we saw earlier on, is orbiting an Earth-like world. Uh, we're going to go in, we're going to scan it. Job done. Now when we get there, we're going to have to be quick. And I mean super quick. Here we go. A 
lovely blue jewel of a world, isn't it? Here we go. And like I say, we've got to be quick in case there's any feds there waiting for us. In, scan it. You've seen what you wanted to see, Mr. and Mrs. Passengers. That's what we want. We're scanning. Did we get it? I think we did. And also you can scan the other ships that are around as well. Oh, training for pharmaceutical isolators. Yeah, they're quite hard to find there. Right. Let's get out of the way. Into our transactions. Back to good old Rubigo. That's where we're going. Jump away. And now that's what, 17 million, right? In about what, 15 minutes? So with a good effort, 17 times four, you know? 68 million, about, plus the data. Plus you can get any materials. So I went for thermic alloys this time. So it's not bad. I mean, I haven't fully engineered this up to a grade five FTL yet. Two jumps to go. Just swing around the side of the planet. Charge away. Pharmaceutical isolators are a right pain to find. Check out some of the um, crashed anacondas. There's a respawning cargo rack. Um, video on my channel that, rel that relates to a crashed anaconda. That's pretty good. That might have them there. So we've got enough fuel to get there and back. Now here's the problem with some of the smaller ships, if you're just starting out and you haven't got a Python, um, obviously you're not gonna make as much money and you're gonna have to do a bit more fuel scooping, which increases the amount of time that you're out in open space, which increases the amount of time which people could pull you out of frame shift, hyperspace, whatever, um, and scan you. So say I use the Python, you can use the dolphin, you can use the orca is the same, I think, isn't it? Um, obviously not the beluga. Do the, do the dolphin at least, I think, is the best thing for this. One of the best ships for these missions because of the landing pads. It's nimble and all the rest of it. Right, here we are. Rabigo Mines. Down to Rabigo. There it is, Rabigo Mines. Put our foot down.
away we go. Someone directly in front of us, it's a dolphin. Worthwhile scanning, just in case. Here we go. More ships, more cargo ships. Asp scouts. Blech. Don't like those. Don't care if they are on sale. Zooming up to Rabigo Mines. Here we go. Oh, it's taking so slow. So personally, even though you can make 17 million, and we said about 15 minutes, didn't we? Right? Um, it's boring. Well, the whole point of this is to grind. It's boring, right? Um, I would do the Seos and so this run. I find that better than Rubigo Mines. I find it quicker. Yeah, it's not as lucrative. Right? But... is a bit more engaging. It's quicker, quicker gameplay. That's what I would say. Okay, here we are. Pad five. Ease it over, nice and easy. Down. We're aligned. Let's get our crate on the floor. Refuel. Starport services. Now, again, it's up to you whether you want to take the materials or you do not. Complete that mission. Biodeck conductors. I'm going to go with that as opposed to the 4 million. Right. Again, ex you know, look, exquisite focus crystals. You are asking. There it is. I could choose that reward. My exquisite focus crystals. Uh, again, there's more there. Look, grade five materials, or you could take in the money. Um, biotech conductors. So yes, you can make the money. Right. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it's not about the many. It's about the materials. And if you're engineering, then that's what it's about for you. You know? So let's look at some of the other missions now. I'm not going to do any more. But this was about biotech conductors. 5.5 million. Um, two. Four. Articulation motors. Exquisite focus crystals. So that's, if that's what you're after, this is the place for you. Again, exquisite focus crystals, biotech, articulation motors, blah, 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 blah. And again, you can get your firmware as well. So there you have it, everybody. Um, that was that. So I'm going to end the stream there. Thank you all very much for watching. What we did today, we went at the beginning of the stream to Dav's Hope. And we did some uh, material grinding at Dav's Hope. We then got back in our Asp Explorer and shot on down to Rubigo Mines and Seos and so this and did some passenger missions. Got to mix it up so you make it a bit different. Have a nice time at the moment. Stay safe and um, check out the videos that I'm putting out tomorrow uh, in regards to Elite Dangerous. Also, I'm going to be playing some Subnautica as well. But next weekend, we'll be doing some more streams. So stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so. I'm on YouTube, 
Twitch, and I'm on Facebook. Like I say, it would help me out if you could subscribe to Twitch if you haven't already done so. Um, and thank you for your continued viewing. It's been great. So, see you soon. Stay safe. And start to have a nice Christmas. <laughs>